WTF, what the Fed, round two. Last time we were together, we were very concerned because the Fed had added $200 billion to its balance sheet. Little did we know, a few weeks after we chatted, the coronavirus exploded across the world. And in response, the Fed and the world's central banks have now been printing trillions and trillions of dollars, making the magnitude that we were concerned about look positively quaint. Isn't it optically awful that Bernanke, the past chairman, went to join Citadel, which was one of the first entities to receive a bailout? What hasn't changed would be an easier question, uh, because so much has changed at this point in time. One in five of the workforce in America has lost their job in the last six weeks, and the market has gone up. We've had unemployment jump to 14.7% from 3.5%, and the market has gone up. We've seen consumer credit and consumer spending collapse to all-time lows, and the market has gone up. Every emergency effort to save the system makes it more fragile. The data is suggesting that there isn't any way out of this except to print the dollar into oblivion. They're picking the 0.1% and the 1% over everybody else again. This deflation will continue for a while, but then there's gonna come a day where all of the currency printing comes back with a vengeance. We are now witnessing the death of this currency system.